Thanks for tuning into the Dove Vision Experience Podcast. Your boy Frank Nina back for another episode, man. As you guys know, I be doing these mini series. We're doing these recaps on these different shows. I got my boy Wallace from the town with me today. What's man, happening? Gonna be, what's, happening? what's happening, man? We're gonna be recapping and talking about this snowfall, man. You know, we love this show. I think it's one of the best shows on TV. Yes, and sir. you know what you know what I mean? I get I get excited when I get to talk about this show, man, because <sighs> it reminds me so much of how the wire, how I used to feel when I used to watch the wire, man. So I got man, my boy definitely. Wallace from town, you know. We gonna we be, we we definitely excited about this man. So let's get to it. Man, been man, waiting so, for this. Been waiting for it for a while, man. Waiting for this snowfall to come back here, man. When they they put that what was it, that February twenty third date, boy. I I, yeah. I I was giving the bird man hand rub rubs, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. You know I would ju- I would definitely juice man because they had they did a great promo run, man, on the show itself. Yeah. You know with all of, you know all of the uh, the content they were putting out, talking you know getting the show, getting people excited about it. And man, I definitely have been you know locked in. For the last um, three, there were three episodes they dropped. The first night they dropped the first two episodes, and then they yeah. dropped the third episode. So, man, what, how do you feel about the timeline? Just like the timeline shift from the first two episodes from when we went from the last season. What I mean by that is like we see we see um, Franklin. He's no longer just he off the cane, and now he done beefed up, and all of a sudden he got a new woman. You know, everything's just kind of changed. How you feel about the timeline shift so so far in advance? Man, I, I I like it, man. I, I like how they um, cause kind of like in season what season two was that last season? Uh, what season was four. that? See, my bad. Yeah, season four. How it kind of led into this, cause you know when she when he went and hollered that mail, dropped a cane and he kind of walked off because it's like he grew mm-hmm. up. Like he, you know, that last episode he had to deal with Alton. Alton and his mom's leaving. Uh, or his mom Alton almost getting killed. There was Scully coming to the to the house. So it was like everything yep. happened so fast, but it's like it pushed him to be where he where he is now. Like, you know, because first Franklin was a scary dude. You know <laughs> what I mean? Now, but the, the last episode from season four to hear it like pushed him to be now he like, hey, you yeah, know, you man, to, I got man, you I'm out there. I got like he told he told Louis and Jerome like and I I I, I what do you say I do whatever, whatever I gotta do. Take. They're, yeah, whatever it takes to keep this thing rolling. Looking at like letting them know, like, hey, hey it is what it is. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't nephew no more. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for real. Like he he running the biz and he got a brother put up a hundred million dollars. You know what I'm saying? So he trying to do big things. You know what I mean? So that's what I was saying. Like you know, the timelines kind of shifted a lot, a lot, man. Like he got an old lady. Like where does old lady come from? You know what yeah, I mean? Like who yeah. is she and what's she about? Like I don't trust her, bro. Like yeah. I don't trust her at all, bro. You know, Frank be simping too. He be simping, so he he quick. Yeah, to, he quick to fall for it for somebody yeah. and get him caught up. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I'm like, why? I'm like, why he trusting her so so, so with so much of the information about the business after you just. Saw what happened last season when he more or less got got set up by by man, man boy. boy, you know, man boy, man boy basically played him the whole time and he didn't even know it, you know, until he kind of caught on towards the end. But just to go go through, think about it, he didn't got played, got a, a, every girl he kind of been into and played him basically. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying got with Mel, she shot him. Yeah. Got with the girl last season, she almost got him killed. And man then you boy. got, you know what I'm saying? Man boy. Man boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man boy almost got he almost got killed last season. Then all of a yeah. sudden he with another chick and he already like he already gave up the goods and about the business. I'm like, bro, what are you Knocked, doing? Got a baby on the way by, you know what I mean? She playing her with, you know, my baby gonna be we gonna be okay no matter what happened. I'm like, yeah, come yeah, on, just like Franklin. Yeah, I thought they could have. I thought they could have gave us a little bit of the backstory on where yeah, he, where she, she came from. Yeah. yeah, where she came from. You know what I mean? How they met. But I did hear him talk about it in another interview, talking about how she was basically um, the lawyer for the. You remember the old lady and the old the old man when he he kind of come about the um, the the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the other season, the previous season, he kind of come about. She was the lawyer at their uh, at the at the. Um, at the courthouse for them, for them, she basically rep- she rep- she represented the old man and the lady, and mm-hmm. then that's how he met her, and then he basically liked what she did, brought her on to the team, and that's how that how she came about. And I heard that's how he, I heard that about how she came about from and him. He just fell in love with her, yeah, Knocked her up and all that, you know. What I mean? Yeah, got a low low Franklin coming. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, I was I was like, you know. I thought the show could have kind of did a little bit better job and kind of like showing that. Hopefully they they might show it, but I guess they just gonna like just gonna run with it because you know. But another thing I like I like how they kind of beefed him up this season. You know, like I said last season he came off the cane. He was like yeah. weak and hobbling yeah. the whole season. You know what I'm saying? Even in the, the warehouse when the, early in the season, uh, previous season he was in the warehouse with the cane. They started shooting. He falling all down. He weak. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, this season, yeah. so he, he he on the punching bag, you know what I'm saying? Punching bag, you know what I mean? He his got weight his up. Little, yeah. little Lacoste. His physique uh, up. Polo, yeah, kinda, yeah kinda he got his physique up. He's he trying to get big. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to he trying to get beefed up. So they, they letting us know that he's like, he's much stronger now. They kind of, that's what I kind of feel like. They seem like, okay, he's stronger now. You know, he, yeah, he can we all know why he tried to do that. He tried to do that because uh, uh, cause Uncle Jerome whooped that Jerome ass in the parking lot. Put the hands on Hey, Jerome put the hands on him. Hey, he was like, nephew, stay there. I mean, yeah, put the, then he tried. Yeah, he, you know, he he knew he couldn't be. He put that guilt trip. When they when you go over there and you get killed, <laughs> they know that I try to stop you. Yeah, yeah, you try. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, that boy. Hey, not Leon, but hey, Gerard was putting them hands on even Leon. Man, like, like, hey, he was. Like, he was hey, stay hey. down, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, he putting them hands on it. So, man, to see how. Um, Uncle Jerome and uh Louis Queen Louis, you know, man, got that got their relationship with Scully now, you know. Yeah. Kind of I knew I kind of knew that, you know, that was gonna be a very, you know, weird relationship that they have. Yeah, she he spared her, but how, you know, once he get back on his feet, he get on that spiritual run, he'll hang somebody up at the like he did the baseball paw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He 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 uh he he spared her. I mean, but Scully's a weird character, man. Like he a weird cat because you know, I mean, Leon. Yeah, at, at first, you know, you go back when Leon killed his baby. They was they was at Leon this whole time. They was going for Leon. It's just they happened to hit Louis and Jerome. You know, they wasn't yep. playing. You know, they came back. You know, got her up out of there, and, and he was yep. coming. He was coming. He was coming for her. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it's like him going out like that to hospital, falling out. You know what I mean? He already spiritual, and it's like they kind of played up on that. Yeah, divine intervention, right? Now. Yeah, yeah. Louis kind of played up, you know, played that, and it's like, look, you know, and kind of able to keep him, you know, what I mean, kind of keep him by his side, like, look, but you yeah, know, man, that boy live took, wire, bro. You never know what. Yeah, hey, man, you yeah. don't know what he, you don't know what he gonna do, but to kind of see how his home, how his second in command kind of did him, though, is kind of like. You know, no matter how much power you get, somebody there's always somebody want to come take what you got. Somebody gonna and, try to snake you, quit. Yeah, and Louis, the way she played it was kind of like it was pretty dope how she played it. You know what I mean? Like, man, we ain't we ain't had to fight no shot. You know what I mean? We gonna because I thought I don't know how you felt, but I I just knew for sure when they caught him in the house that he was done. So me too. I was like, oh, he I done. Did. He, he done. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I don't think they, I don't think Louis and especially Jerome. I don't think Jerome either. Jerome didn't like the, uh, the the young cat from the jump because he oh, came. Oh, that's right. When he, when he came in with the Ferrari, kind of looking yeah, at yeah, Louis, yeah. and then kind of tapping him on the chest, like you know. I think Jerome was like, "Man, this little this, this young nigga, man. We about, hey, I'm about to take his head off right now, you know." So yeah, when it was yeah. when it was a chance to, you know what I mean? Like I said, they they already got a connection a little bit with Scully because remember at the end. When when uh, he was giving Scully back his daughter's necklace, you know the necklace yep. he had, he was giving mm-hmm. it back to him. Remember, Jerome was like, "Man, we owe you." You know, he was like, yeah. "Hey," and then and then Scully was like, "Nah, you keep that just, just, so it remember it." So it was like him. Is, they got a little bit of a they connection got a little, they already. Got a, they, got a, they got a, they got something like something like you said. They got a connection going on. Something yeah. to kind of kind of yeah. build off of because you if you take Scully out, you don't know how this dude going actually run the business. Can he actually run the business? Can he command the guys like Scully do? Because they, exactly. they skill of Scully. They skill of how Scully chopped out, chopped out old boy ear early. Hey, yeah. they skill of Scully. You know what I'm saying? He, I don't he know already if they showed you how he going to do. He already showed you he a snake. Yep. He showed, and you know what I mean? What are you going to do? And it's like they just dealt with that with man boy. Yep. They just dealt with yep. that with man boy. With that same type of character, that same type of dude. Man boy mm-hmm. was, you know what I mean? She a little thought he was smarter than everybody. This and that, you know, it was like, man, why would you go deal with that? Yeah, Scully's crazy, but you know what you're dealing with, with Scully. Scully's going to be straight up with you. You know, like yep. he's going to be like, look, like you said, like, man, you told me it was going to be 9,000. That's what it's going to be. That's because you told me, you know what I mean? That's like, what you told me. Yep. And that's when he said, you you got you to gotta live by your word. He's like, I ain't got, that ain't my problem. He's like, that ain't my problem. What yeah. you got going on over there? You know what yep. I mean? So, but. Man, how man, this this whole Reed situation is just like Reed and this Alton situation, bro. It's like, when is they gonna show it? Why are they making us why are they dragging it out, bro? They could have been told us like what's going on with this situation, but they keep dragging it out. So I don't think Alton did, bro. I don't I think Reed, I think Reed they gave us the, the, the indication that of course he showed up with the pistol in the hand. Right. He ready to go ahead, lay him down. Alton kind of turned around, put the book down, like he ready for the he ready for his sweet death. 
and I think they just kind of like showed it, but I think mm-hmm. he kind of got him on a took somewhere. I don't think he did. See, and, and, and yeah, I, I, man, I'm with you. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say because when he talked to his mom, remember, I mean, even the phone was breaking up, but his mm-hmm. mom didn't sound too like, yeah, like she shook up about it. Yeah, yeah shook up like, about it. You know what I mean? So that's that's why it's like, like you said, they're dragging it out because that's what I thought it was going to come out. Like when he talked to his mom, mm-hmm. like, oh, he's about to tell him. Out and gone or something, but she was just talking, yeah. hey, 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 you know, and no, like you said, no kind of urgency in her voice, and then it, you know, connection went off, so it, it went off. So yeah, yeah it, that's that's kind of that's kind of uh that's kind of funny. It's like I feel like that's gonna come back later on in the season. Something gonna come yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I think he went. Sta- I think he probably went scooped him up. Yeah, he probably knew the CIA was probably gonna be gunning for him. They knew he was in, Cuba, in Cuba or somebody else mm-hmm. was gonna be gunning for him. Cause like when they had to sit down at the table, he was like, man, Alta made a lot of enemies. He's like, it's above me. You got CIA, DEA, all yeah. these other people may, you know, he, he tried to out. And so I think he probably went scooped him up, stashed him somewhere. You know, made it seem like he disappeared. You know, he made it came up, made it look like he disappeared. And then, like you said, he might circle back later on when he actually he got up trying to hold one over uh over, over Franklin. Franklin head. He was like, yeah. I know your daddy. Yet. You know what I'm saying? I know your daddy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know what Alex he ain't did. I know where he better, type, better, type situation. Yeah, yeah. just like you say, hey, you better get in line. I know your daddy. Yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Let so, him talk to him or something so he know, like, you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's how Teddy, that's how Reed be, man. Reed, the, yeah. Reed, hey, Reed, Reed left his own brother out there. Hey, had a brother coke, though. They, they should all let coke up his brother know. You know he ain't, hey, you know he don't care about his dad. He's like, yeah. man, I send your dad out there with the rebels. You keep playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, but he don't miss because, like, when he go, when he go out to somebody, when Teddy go out to somebody, he don't miss, bro. You don't miss, miss, bro. Yeah. Like, and you see how you see how he did Grady slipped in on Grady. Like, I'm just coming here to check the box first. Yeah, I'm coming to check the layout on the box, whatever. That yeah. thing, you know, it may have slipped in your crib and get put something in your drink and you out. I don't even know Grady. That was stupid from Grady from the jump. That boy talking crazy. Like, bro, this dude came in your house twice. Hey, you didn't even know dude was there. You got the nerve to tell him, tell the CIA man, like, get up out of here. Like, yeah, okay, hey, bro. They, Grady. They took- Hey, he told you. He like he told you it's over, bro. You gonna take your money, gonna get to get to get to walking, man. Get to stepping, like Martin right. said. Get to stepping. I'd have been out of there, bro. You know, hey. get to stepping. But he was oh, so. Yeah. But the thing is, he's so tired. He was so tired up with with uh, with Franklin though. He got the he had the real estate business going on with Franklin, and you know what I'm saying. He would have one of the girls he was messing with was in Franklin. Franklin crew, body, so, yeah, bodyguard, yeah, or whatever, yeah. yeah, something like that. So he's so locked in. He was like, I can't just leave it. I got too much. I got too much to leave. You know, so yeah. I got money. I can't leave. I got the women. You know, see, I'm having the time of my life. I'm getting extra. He finna start getting extra off the bricks. You know what I'm saying? He finna be making money. Like, yeah, bro. He like, nah, man. Uh, I ain't yeah. going. I can't. He already scamming out the top off the brick money. Like, nah, I ain't going nowhere, bro. Where else I'm gonna yeah. make this type of money? Scamming off the top money and getting down there to the to the to the uh uh. What's the name? The to guns, the and, well, yeah, to the rebels and stuff. Yeah, he ain't getting the guns. He ain't, he ain't got the money flowing. That's, that's what about happened, he man. He wasn't doing job. his job. Yeah, he wasn't doing his job. <laughs> he <laughs> he doing too, he, he doing too, too much part in this stuff, bro. Too much. And he, he knew, and he knew that. That's why I was like, bro, you know you ain't the guns ain't getting where the money ain't getting ain't where it's supposed to be. And then CIA come and you get bad, bro. You supposed to be like, all right, look, all right, look. Let me tighten right, up. Yeah. Let, Let me tighten, tighten up. up. I've been tripping. I've been, I've been, you know, throwing parties. You know what I mean? Hey, you right. Man. You right. Let me. Teddy, me, let me. Teddy went looked into the when looked into the operation in two days and figured out like, man, this man ain't doing nothing. He gotta go, man. bro. Teddy, I can Teddy get it done. Play. I got all the connections. I got all the connections. I got, I got Gustavo. I get, I got to get Gustavo back on the team and get Gustavo. my other boy. Get, was it Javi? Yeah, Javi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Javi he back. walk in on Javi. Javi torturing somebody up there. He's like, Javi, what's happening? Javi like, hold on. He go back and Teddy, read. You know, read. Hey, you know, I'm like, yeah. Bruh, he hey. might be Nazi. He might be a Nazi. I don't know yeah. yet. We're going to see. Know. Like, bro, doing the whole walk torture out. session. He's like, look, hey, don't do too much, man. But hey, all right, I'm going to holler at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm what? out. He's like, I don't want to be in no part of this. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like, why you messing with that, man? Hey, and that's the thing. Hey, Reed got. Reed got Franklin shook. Got him shook, bro. When he showed up at the crib, bro, Franklin like, uh, uh <laughs> yeah. hey, what's up? Franklin like, opened the cigar <laughs> thing with the pistol right there. Like, man, do I got to, is it going to go gotta, down? Yeah, I got to do it. What's, yeah. going, what's going on here? You come to, you come to double back hey. on me? 
Franklin wouldn't sit down for nothing. Franklin was standing there like, hey, what's happening? What's going on? What's up? <laughs> yeah, what you need? Yeah, we gonna what you so what? So greater said what? Yeah, Man, can I get the can I get the price cut? Can I get the, for the greater price? Nah, we're gonna keep it at we're gonna keep it where it's at. Yeah, we're gonna keep it where it's at. I was like, ah, oh, this boy Reed came up in there. Put this, hey, but see. Put the smack down. Reed, hey, Franklin Smart though. You see how Franklin, when he went to meet Gustavo at the spot. Yeah, he, he knew he, he, he knew picked something up on right. Like, Hold on, man. He, he was looking around right. and yeah. then flipped up, changed up the way he started talking. Cause remember he was asking mm-hmm. Gustavo a couple questions. Yep. And, and then he, he was like, Hold on. He, like, he like looked around, he's like, Yeah, I could so I think somebody out here watching me. Man, yeah. let me get you a new jacket, man. I gotta get you a new jacket, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, quick. Like, Grady, was the slop, Grady, Grady was sloppy Grady was sloppy anyway. Grady yeah. was sloppy anyway. I picked up on it quick and frankly next day, double back, went up there. Double back. He said, like, oh, okay, this is what we doing right now. So, But that's the thing about Franklin. Like, Franklin don't trust nobody, and that's why I feel he messing he he messing up by going at Louis and Jerome like that because Louis smart. Louis hell smart. You know, and it's like, mm-hmm. bro, like, you doing all this by yourself. You got you got, you got to read, you know what I mean, back, you know, following you and all that. Man, and he's trying to take all this on by itself. I'm like, nah, bro. You got to, you got to, you got to, you should got to bounce this off of somebody. You know what I mean? And yeah, but I think that's why he's he, he so tough. I think that's why he's so tough on him because he know he want them back in the fold because when they back in the fold, he can easily kind of like, they can work the prices. He can talk to them. They can kind of be on the same page right now. It's just like, like she her own distributor. He's like, man, I can't really tell her what to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't man. just, I got to go on, I got to go over there. We got to discuss. I got to, you know what I'm saying? He can't really make that sound decision. Like, all right, man, this is the direction where we going. And that's it. But now she got her own money. She got her own, you know what I'm saying? She got her own crew that she running and stuff like that. So he can't really tell her what to do. And that's why he be so angry. Like, come on, I want you guys that's back. Franklin, you know, you tried Franklin be fucking up. Franklin, do, got, a, Franklin got a shot. Frankly, got man, <laughs> Scully was coming for him. Yeah, bro. Scully, yeah. man, like, like, frankly, yeah, he's, and that's what she's talking about. Her, his decisions, his decisions, been kind of costing him, and so that's how she feel like, like, man, I gotta, you know, so let me talk. That's why he won't let her talk to the plug. He's like, let me talk to Reed. Let me yeah. talk to Teddy. Man, like, frankly, nah, nah, frankly nah. Be you know, but you know, he let her talk to the plug. You know, he might get cut out. Might get cut out. Man, Franklin be fucking up. It's like he ain't got to go hard at Fra- and Franklin don't be. He don't be picking up on shit. Like, he don't be, bro, Peach is on that shit. I bet, I, I was going to say, bro, bro, Peach is, yeah, bro. He been sniffing the nose, talking about damn summer cold. Ain't no summer cold. Bro, you see why he took, he, he took, you see, he took the other hitter with him, the higher hitter that he, the girl with him, because he knew Peach. Yeah. Yeah. Called Peach is sniffing. Peach is on that shit. And it's like, bro, you got yeah, to cut that. You got to cut that. You should have cut the white boy. You should have cut the white boy off last season. We seen yeah. the white boy was falling off last season. Yeah, and then for him to be all he coked up, like he coked out his mind, bro. This season they coked I just, up. I just Boy, wanna... haul off and shot somebody. His buddy and haul off and shot somebody in the crib. Like, bro, what y'all doing? What y'all Franklin, doing, bro? Franklin and then it took Franklin all the way till they went to the to bury the dude to actually be like, I gotta shoot him. Because Franklin originally, what it looked like to me, he wasn't really gonna shoot him at the, from the from the at, at the jump because he gave him the gun. Like, but you gonna get a coke head the gun to kill his homeboy? Yeah, I think he just tried to make. I think he didn't want to. I think he wanted that body on his on, on him. So he was like, "You you you messed it up. You said you gonna clean it up. Do it." And then also a little power trip for him to make somebody kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? Probably a little power trip for him because he probably knew at the same time he was gonna kill him anyway. He was like man, because like when he came back, he was like he was messed up. He was like, man, it was it was no way. He he already told the white. He told he already told his boy about the CIA. He already knew what the deal was. And if he talked now, and don't tell him what they gonna do. He gonna, if they press him in the jail, he gonna snitch, bro. Oh yeah, he gonna tell. He already all. knew. He already knew. He already knew. Yeah. If he if he get caught, he already on that shit. Franklin gonna snitch. Judge bro. character, man. He had a good judge yeah, of character, yeah. man. So it's like, man, you know, uh, and everybody, everybody around him, they be. But they be they be falling off. But Louis, Louis be like, look. But see, the thing is with Louis, Louis got an advantage because she got Jerome. You yep. know what I mean? So they had a relationship back in the day, like, and you yep. know, it's like they got it all. You know, and it's like Louis smart. She a female. She she pretty. And then you got the muscle, big Jericho yep. nigga, gorilla nigga. Yeah. Like he, you know what I mean? He ain't playing. You know he gonna. Yep. 
you know, Jerome going, he, 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 he like, going to do go whatever for it. Cause he, cause he all in that, you know what I'm saying? At one point in time, he was ready to get out, you know, and she talked out. him into, that's like when they were having a conversation when they were sitting in the truck, in the van. And mm-hmm. she's like, basically he all in now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm all in because he was ready to get out. He He's wanted to, to take out. her, get the money that they had. And he was ready to move on. Cause you know, remember that for the last season when he, when he shot the guy, when he was at the warehouse, you can mm-hmm. just see that he wanted, he just like, it took a toll on him. Yeah, yeah he took was like, a toll man. on him. Yeah, he took a toll on him. So, and then they, the first season, they, they, I'm saying, then this season he come out, they already on the horses and shit. Like, he, they got that money. They up, they up now. He got the, he ran the Versace's and stuff. So, he like, man, let's get out of here. But now they all in. She, and she, he basically did that for her. Yeah, for her. And, 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 you know, and she know, and the thing about Louis, why I like part, like, why I like Louis is because she knows she played him. Cause she didn't tell him that they would the Reed was the CIA until last yep. season. Yeah, but she knew what she deal was. She du- she didn't double down, try to and try to be like, yeah, whatever. She was like, you know what? This whole time she'd been like, you know, I did fuck up. Pretty much what I was saying is like, I fucked up. But you know what I mean? You my guy, you my king. And she been like, yep. like, 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 hey, whatever Locked he in. say, like, yeah. like, yep. I'm doing this. She like, all right, that's what we do it. Even with. <laughs> Even when the cop come in there, you know, Jerome. Oh, like, yeah, you already, nigga, yeah. You know, Jerome be looking at him like, bro. He, he know, he, and Jerome know, and Jerome know, Jerome know he want to, she want to, he want to smash her too. He, he know. to smash. And know, Louis don't even play smash. like that. Louis be straight yeah. like, oh, want me to send Shelly up here? Yeah. Louis don't yep. even play because he's like, nigga, Jerome be looking at that dude like, bro, I don't care if you're a cop or not, bro. I, I smash you, I'll bro. I'll snap right. your neck up. <laughs> yeah, who you think, who you think she going to snitch on though? Because he won't, he, he she got to give up somebody. Who you think she going to snitch on? Leon, you think you think she you think she gonna clap Leon? Remember, she, she was the Leon? first one to say uh, back in the day when it was like yeah. she was like give up Leon, give him Leon, give up Leon. But then if you think if, if she snitch on Leon, that fuck with Franklin business though. Well, Big Neon, Big Dion that, still in there. Dion still yeah, there, man. But the project, but the project's hot now. The project's hot. You know what I'm saying? You send him up in there, project's hot now. You blew up his, yeah. you blew up the spot. Yeah, like, you man, blew up hey, the spot. Like you said, you gotta give him something. Gotta give him some. Gotta give him some. You gotta give him some. Who else you got? You only got Franklin, Leon, uh, yeah, Scully. But they she ain't gonna do Scully. Scully. They ain't gonna do nothing to Scully. Like, yeah, bro, it's gonna be tough to kind of blow a Franklin spot like that, bro. Yeah, I mean, and then she coming at you know King Queen Louis. Tell me what you want to do. Since you got all of that, <laughs> tell me what you want to do. And you see Jerome, uh, he you know, Jerome like, all right, nephew, all right, nephew, all right, nephew. All right, nephew. All right like, no, I just want to see what yeah. Queen Louis want. I want to see what she want. Yeah, ask her what she want. She right there. Ask her. Hey, yep. So I don't want to like, be up on nobody else's thumb. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, everybody got to answer to somebody. Everybody, got, and that's why Louis gonna be like, yeah, okay. How about this? Going over there to that project and knock the hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> Going over there, it's a little nigga named Leon with a little Jerry Crow. Hey, you know what Leon, mean? see Leon smack them toes, old boy. Man, Bruh. beat that man, took the shoe, like, take them J's. I give them J. Beat that man feet in, bro. I was like, come <laughs> on, bro. Like, for some J, he they're stealing for some J's. For some J's, bro. Yeah, Leon, hey. I don't know what's up with Leon. I don't know. Man, uh, Leon, free Leon, Leon don't, man. Free Leon, man. He don't, he don't want, want, he don't want that life no more. He don't want that life no more, bro. He, he done, want, bro. He done, he don't bro. Want no more. He lost he his boy fat no back. More. You know what I mean? That man shot the little girl. Yeah, bro. You know he he mentally done, bro. He mentally done. He just he just going through the motion at this point. Leon he still out there. Leon gonna be like Wanda, bro. Yeah, Leon bro. Still, like when, he gonna get on that white, bro. Like when when friend that came over try to pitch the pitch the uh, the real estate deal to him. He's like, man, I got everything I need, man. I don't need that. Yeah, what yeah. I need. He got. He like. I got everything I need, man. I don't need. He ordered eating peanut butter and jelly sandwich, man. He like. I don't need that. <laughs> he in a trap. The he the man, J, man. bro. He like. I don't need that, man. That's y'all, man. I don't hey, need that. He and he said he got Big Dion watching his back. And nigga Big Dion look like a damn basketball player out there. Just hey, Dion, yeah, man, you. Man, you. Hey, you saw they did Liam Bias. You saw they show, show Liam Bias. That was the yeah, coat. That was I, ain't, I ain't realize that, I ain't realize that was him until I saw the jersey. I was like, I was biased. I was like, Lynn Bias. And yeah. they they did it like so smooth. It just like showed the list because it was like a the scene didn't necessarily make sense at first. You know what I mean? Because they yeah. just in the room doing coke kicking or whatever. In. Yeah, kicking in. He he just he's just hitting it too. He hitting it hard. I'm like, bro, why are you hitting the coke so hard? They tell him why like, he, bro, calm down. Bro. Calm down. It's like he ain't yeah. going away. Like, man, I can handle it, bro. I can handle it, bro. That, that hard, thing, that you know, hard locked up like some damn. 
Like 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 an engine with no oil in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he grabbed him yeah. quick. Bro, I was like, bro, what did you do? You don't just be hitting the coke like that. Hey, that he snorted lime, bro. He just snorted thing. He a gladiator. But that boy walked off, started stumbling, then came back and hit another line. I was like, bro, when you started, bro. when you started wobbling, you should have, you should have eased up. My, yeah, that's when you're that supposed man. to go sit on the couch, go like this, and just lay, sit back for a minute. Lay back, just drink some water, drink some water. Hey, and let that, let it just do what it do. You over here, you just being extra with it, bro. Like, extra, yeah, bro. bro. But them just kind of throw that Liam bias in there and then kind of let them know that. And that kind of shows like, okay, man, this Coke thing. And he didn't went, he didn't went uh, state, uh, uh, statewide with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of yeah. Because what, Liam Bias was, 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 was in what? Was he in he LA? Was, Boston, right? Yeah, he was in Boston because he had well, just I know got he drafted. Draft, yeah, yeah. So, but I don't know if he was in Boston or not, but I think he was yeah. on coast to coast. I think he was on the East Coast at the time, I think. Yeah, I believe so, too. I believe he was on the East Coast. I'm not sure what. Like, yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what college he went to, so. Yeah, I want to say he was out there in the East Coast, like you were saying, but yeah, that was dope how they started it off with the, with the, you know, with the Lynn bias uh, in the first episode, man. Yeah, so yeah, man, that was kind of. What do you think? A hey, one in the six doing the the phone six thing, man. One doing the phone six thing. Man, yeah, I, 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 I actually like Wanda. I think Wanda is is is. Uh, I think because Wanda been on that, you just can't keep her around that shit. Keep yeah, that's, busy. And that's, Keep what Leon, busy. that's what that's what Leon said, man. You can't be around this shit. I ain't gonna bring you back to this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. You gonna you gonna be like Pookie in that joint, man. Yeah, you're gonna be like Pookie. But I think Wanda is is a is an asset. You know, you put her in there, like you said, working with his with his with his wife. Because Wanda, man, Wanda be picking up on shit. Wanda, yeah, she crafty, shit. bro. She, she yeah. crafty. She, yeah. you know, she like you said, she be picking up stuff. She can she can understand stuff that people probably be missing. You yeah, know, so they probably overlook her because yeah, overlook she, her because she, she's just sitting yeah. there with her head down, just like oh, yep. she's a black, you know, little girl that you know, cracking yep. head, you know, trying to get clean. Basically, basically yep. just you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. she pick up on it, be like, yo, Franklin, this and this and that, you know what I mean? And I think you that, think she's gonna stay clean. You think she's gonna stay clean all season? <sighs> if she stay in that office, she'll be all right. She's gonna be she, all right. You think she, so? She, hey, she's staying. If if what's I think what's gonna what's gonna fuck her up is I think because you know she's staying at Franklin Mama crib right. Yep. I think mm-hmm. what's gonna happen is she gonna fuck around and find some dope. There's gonna be some dope laying around in there somewhere. Or something is gonna be. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be stressed and, and, and hit and, hit and hit it. Hit back it back on it. She gonna be back on it just like back that. On and it. she gonna bring some heat. Cause she gonna be, you know what I mean. And they she, gonna, they gonna, she be snitching cause she working in the office. She's seeing what's going on in the office and, and all that good stuff. Take her out, and that's what him and the league gonna fall out. Frank oh, gonna have to. Frank is gonna have to, you know. And then yeah. Lee, and Lee gonna yeah, be like, Leon oh, ain't going. Bro. Leon ain't going by Wonder, bro. He ain't going yeah. by Wonder. He ain't going he, by. Wonder. He don't play by. He ain't playing by Wonder. Even though he don't want to be with her no more, he 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 ain't going by the though. For real, for real. He ain't going, and, and that's when I uh. Man, and that's and my and another thing I want to jump to is like they ain't even brought up Arkansas yet. That all, bro. Like it ain't even happened. It ain't even happened. It's like, bro, what what what's going on down there? Y'all just gonna show us this one time. Y'all gonna show a whole episode about this one time, and then y'all not gonna circle back to it. Kind of get us like let us know what's up, what's going on. Them boys like, that came up out them trailer paws, or them boys down there getting that good money. Like what's going yeah, on? Who, you know what I mean? What they do it. Is the ship got some the keys through, they probably do it. They probably got some flamethrowers or something down there by now. You know, they making that yeah, money. Making that money, bro. And you know, because they, young, because young besides, boy, if, because if besides Scully, that's her only person that she, you know what I'm saying, she's selling keys to. They ain't yeah. really said nobody else unless she got something else, you know what I'm saying, locked up. You know, yeah, and, and, and now that you say that, who took over Man Boy spot? I think she might have, well, yeah, they haven't really talked about that, man. They haven't talked about it, bro, at all. Because he was what, uh, Eagle, wait, man, Eagle, boy, was in, East Side or something? I don't know, bro. I forget exactly what side, what, what, what uh, territory. Scully's, he in, Scully's in, in, in Compton, right? I want to say, he I, might, I forgot. I want, he might. I, I want man, I can't Compton. remember. But I, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, damn, who? If they they, took, they killed man, boy, who took it over? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, so yeah, they got to They got to do a little bit uh, clean up because like you can't just be running no empire like that with just one or two distributors, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of pushing the weight out to them type of guys. And Scully just can't be relied on for that long because he might flip out, bro, come after you. But you know what I'm saying? But none of they kind of like, you know, patch it up, you know, save the life, eye for eye type thing. 
They might, yeah. you know, because he told me, what you want to do about that money? He's like, man, I don't want that money, man. He said, I, I want that juju that. shit or whatever. I don't want that juju. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that, man. You can just, <laughs> it's keep all on shit. you. I don't want to keep that shit. You know, I don't want that. You know what I mean? That's the price for my life, basically. You know what I'm saying? I want that shit. Yeah, man. Hey, what you what you think about Gustavo, man? Like, Gustavo been kind of, he didn't want to go see, even though he had the information on, what, uh, what's her name, Elena? Uh, Lucia. Uh, Lucia. 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 Yeah, he had the information. He didn't want to go see. He got what? Those his two kids, right? Well, he took a. Yeah. That was his uh his people's kids that got. Yeah, that was right? the people. Yeah, yep, that was his people's kids so, that killed. And so she was a girlfriend, but she snitched though. So, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I wonder like how how he gonna take that? You know what I mean? Knowing that she snitched. Who Lucille? Yeah, you remember when they was in the yeah, car? Yeah. Remember yeah. When they was in the car and she snitched when they was in the park, yeah. and they saw her. I forget who saw. I forgot who saw her, but somebody saw her in the park. And uh, yeah. when she was in the car, locked, you know what I'm saying? So I wonder how, you know, how he going to see her. If he did saw, saw her again, what would he say to her? You know what I'm saying? He'll probably, he'll suck her for her, so he'll probably just take her back. He, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He'll probably take her back. But I just don't, he, uh, the thing about Gustavo, man, he's just like, just, you never know what he's thinking. Yeah, he, he quiet. Like Teddy, Teddy came back, you know what I mean? He ain't really said too much. He kind of looked, you know what I mean? He kind of. He had to go get the okay up. from him, though. He had to go get the okay from him, though. You know what I'm saying? Before he before before he took before before Teddy took out uh Grady, he had to go to Gustavo and get the, oh, get the yeah. like get the okay, like, yeah, hey, you okay with this? Like, how yeah. is he? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you already know Gustavo, you know, Gustavo, he'll hit him too. He'll hit him too, yeah, yeah. But he that's the thing, is like I don't know, like him and Franklin, remember in the beginning, Franklin, him and Franklin was like, Well, Franklin used to like him because you know, he used to see him wrestling. Oh yeah, is it Luchador Lucha, or something? Luchador, and then he saved Franklin when he first with him and Leon. I remember him and Leon came yep. up there. Yep. Up there. So, yep. but it's like after that, even when uh, he asked him about uh, Reed coming back, you know, Gustavo kind of was like, yeah, short I think Gustavo just like kind of standing his pocket because he got the kids now and they in school. Yeah, you know, so he making a little money. He he able to take care of him. He don't really want to rock the boat. So he yeah. just kind of rolling. He just kind of like in the middle because of course you working with the CIA. They can kind of shut it down. They can end you at any point. So he just kind of like right. he just trying to stay neutral, trying to stay in the middle to keep things keep things smooth. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's I'm kind of like. What's gonna happen when Franklin and Reed really get into it? Like where who where, where Gustavo gonna stand? Because you know yeah. Reed gonna go to Gustavo like, hey, we got to we got to go to take work. Care. Yeah, yeah. We put some work. Yeah. But I, you know, I don't know if they really realize like, well, Reed like Franklin and Gustavo got. A little bit of history too, you know yep. what I mean? Like, so it ain't gonna be yep. just so easy for him easy. to stop gonna go pop take him, him out. Go and pop him, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I feel like yeah. that's gonna come to a head sooner or later, you know. So, so you think, uh, do you think that Franklin is a villain or a hero? Oh, right now I think he be a villain, man. I think he turned into a villain. That's because, of, but you know, my favorite, my favorite character is Jerome. He playing yeah. Jerome and Louis, so I'm like, <laughs> "Hey man, you can't be playing my guy like that, man." So I, yeah. to me, to me, I'm like, "Man, he he being he he going towards the villain role to me because he he should he should take care of them, but you know he should you know if they if they need the bricks for for what for nine thousand instead of ten, give yeah, something like 9, I think it was 000. ten or whatever it was, yeah, something like that. Yeah, give him the bricks because you do you came to him. Remember, it was it was it was Jerome and Louis getting the getting the bricks off. When you first started, you wasn't knowing who how to get the bricks off. It was them getting them off, you know. So so to answer your question, I think man, he he becoming a villain. You know, he already played Leon. Leon was like, man, I'm trying to I'm I'm, I'm done. You know, he was like, you gonna get take your ass to them projects. <laughs> <laughs> I risked everything for you. I man. risked everything for you. So you're gonna get your ass up. Hey, so he played Leon. He play uh he playing he coming at uh Louis and Jerome sideways. Him and Reed kind of, you know what I mean, which I don't really yeah. care too much for. Like, I, think, anyway. I think he just got it about his about his pops. I think that's the biggest thing. He's trying to figure out what's going on with his pops. And of course, Ted ain't gonna tell him because he gonna wild out on him if he t- find out he what he did to his dad if he killed him, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna wild out on him. But yeah. what can you do? You know what I'm saying? He the one providing you all the bricks, so you ain't gonna go out in the streets. That's why I was telling you, you know what I'm saying, you were saying about by Jerome and Louis, I feel like, yeah, they could, he could probably, you know, cut the price down, but, you know, if he just start cutting the price, every time they want something, he gonna have to give it to him. Like, you give in once, 
you know, you got to keep giving in to them. And if they really want to, if they really want to be in a dope game and she feels like she's so confident and she can run stuff without him, go out there and find your own connect. You know what I'm saying? Go, yeah. go out there in the streets and go mess with the Colombians and see how they get to chopping off heads and arms and shooting people up. You know what I'm saying? I like, feel, I, feel, if, I feel you. Like, you really, if you really, you really feel like you, because I feel like, like I was saying, I feel like Franklin is the safety net for her and them. You know what I mean? Like, right. they always, can, anytime they have any issues, they can go to Franklin or that they need the dope, they can go to Franklin. You know what I'm saying? Because Franklin getting it to them with no no static like they have no static coming through franklin you know what i'm saying because the keys they the, they the government bringing in the keys he getting it straight from the government they get yeah. the keys they ain't getting harassed they ain't the club running smooth she make you know she got the club probably for as a front they ain't coming mm-hmm. to kicking in the door at the club none she ain't getting no they ain't bugging her place they ain't, you know so ain't doing none of that you know what i mean so i feel like that's why you know sometimes you gotta the price is the price Versus the other comfort in your life that you got. Because imagine, man, they was out there messing with them Colombians, bro. And they got to be looking up, messing with a cartel, bro. And they got to be like, no mess up. Like, imagine imagine all these hiccups they've been having messing with in the Colombians. They got to pay All the, the hiccups is because of Franklin. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, imagine if you, I'm just saying, imagine if she out there on her own and she yeah. coming into these hiccups and, and she came totally from different. Yeah. Some cartels, like, we don't care. We, we I want my money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want my money to, you know what I'm saying? Like, we need to have, you, I gave you 30, I gave you 30 keys or whatever, how many keys they get. I gave you how many keys. I, I need, need my, my money. Yeah. I need my money. But, but and, then, and when I she went to the cartel, they don't, and then she went to the cartel, asked about the price cut, they would tell her no, too. You know what I'm saying? She but, just asked me because they family. She's asking because they family. You think you think the cartel would definitely give her a price? A price if she went to Pablo and was like, "Look, nah, man, I, I know you, 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 I know that you gave me the keys for fifteen, but I need to get it for ten. I need, I need to get it for ten. You're like, right? No, you're right. But Franklin only did that certain stuff to Louis and him, but saying oh, because they family. You think if Louis True. got shot, you think Jerome wouldn't have killed uh, Franklin if he wasn't his nephew? He would have killed Franklin. It'd have been done. You know, he'd have killed Franklin. All that, all that, uh, all that stuff he 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 been doing, all the stuff they got into is because of Franklin's decisions. So it was hey, like, yo, on it, on the job training, it's on the job training. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> but but remember, but like you said, like you said, um, he went, they went with Franklin every time Franklin made a decision. They went, with, they was like, even even they was like, nah, nah, we shouldn't do that, we shouldn't do that. Frank was like, nah, I want to do it this way. Okay, and it always backfired. Remember, we are gonna go in there and try to set up Scully with Man Boy. It was like, nah, the wood backfired. Backfired. You know what I mean? Yeah. They came. They, now, 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 Scully coming at them. You know what I mean? The, hey, Leon, Leon messed up. They was like, what? What Louis say? I gotta give up. Leon. Hey, but that was a boy though. He wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna just. He wasn't gonna just ditch his boy like that. You know what I'm saying? That was his homie. You know what I'm saying? They started. He got the body for him first, and you know what I'm saying? Got the first body for him. So, hey, he wasn't. Gonna, he wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna. You're right. You're right. But look what. But look what that train. Uh, look what that, those actions set the, set up with. Hey, when 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 he didn't give him Leon, he just put did girl, things in motion. Yeah, set things, things in motion. motion. The girl started playing them. All that. It's like, come on, man. And, and that and that's what. And that's what Louie and them saying, like, man, y'all, every time, this whole time we did what we did it your way. Because you family. We did it your way. And look what it look what it got me. It got me hey. in the hospital. You know, hey, dope gang, dope gang, dope gang crazy, man. It's hard like that C- for dope CIA gang. was about to take over CIA was about to take over, take over uh about to take out our whole family. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you see, you you see, look, I don't know if you people you see when uh they asked him about um by out by Alton, and mm-hmm. then, uh, um, that was that was in the um in the in the club, and uh, Jerome was I'm not Jerome, but uh uh, Fr- uh Franklin was like, well Alton had it coming, and then you see how Jerome looked at him like, yeah yeah, what's said, up yeah, with he, you, bro? Because like, he told me like <laughs> Alton action, yeah Alton actions, you know, what I'm saying he was saying like Alton action caused this on himself. He was like, even though yeah, Jerome don't right. like it, even though Jerome don't really like it, daddy, whatever, but he was just kind of like. Yeah, yeah, like, like dude, like yeah, that's kind of weird, bro, for you to say something like that. But at the same time, Frank, like man, I'm kind of, it's kind of, oh, I gotta, you know, possibly work with the man who, you know, what I'm saying disappeared my pops. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel that. But it's like, I, to me, it's like Jerome looked at him like, bro, like, bro, we like, come on, that's your, that's come on, bro, that's your, that's we that's family, your pop, bro. That's yeah, your pop, like, bro, that's your come pops, on, bro, yeah. like if you gonna, you gonna say that about, like, what you feel, how you gonna do us? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. we held you down. 
when you was laid up, well, Mel almost put you in the grave. Hey, you know what Mel, I mean? put them slugs in them. Put them slugs in. You what think she gonna do? show up? You think she gonna show up this season? Got to. Got to. You think she gonna yeah. show up? You Mel think she gonna show up? With, with the, with the, uh, she, gonna, she, got, she gonna come back. She gonna come back and she gonna get right back. Because I was that. like, because I was like, why would they show her, you know, one scene out of the entire, basically the whole season, you sit, show her one scene at the end of the show and then you don't, you know, kill her off or nothing like that. You just kind of bring her back. You know what I'm saying? She, but I, so I was wondering, also I've been wondering, like, I wonder what they, how, at what capacity could they bring her back just to bring, break him down, make him kind of like fall back in love with him type, type yeah, stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mess with, with him. Make, and then baby make, mess with Franklin man, make, make Franklin mad. I mean, yeah. make, make Franklin, break up Franklin relationship with his old lady now. Yeah. And Franklin, you know, and that's when, that's when the old lady going to be, you know, cause she got the keys to the, to the, to the, uh, to the liberal side. Yeah. 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 So she, man, she going to come in there and, and score on her. Hey, for sure. She I wonder at what like, point. I wonder at what point did he trust her enough to tell her about the business like that, though. I mean, you know, you know like what I'm saying. Said, frankly, be simping, bro. Frankly, tell all the females he messed with. He told Mel first, then he told the one man boy up uh, set set out there. Yep. You know what I mean? Easy, now, like just quick with the quickness, bro. Just like told her about the business with the quickness, bro. Like, come on, Franklin come on, soft, man. bro. Franklin soft, like you know how Franklin is. He see you trying to. I'm, that's was like another thing. Like Louis, you know what I mean. Remember Louis was even saying that. Louis was like even with the uh, girl that man boy said. Remember Louis was like, "Hey, she gonna you gonna work in the uh, club with Louis?" Louis was like, "Remember Louis was kind of like, mm-hmm. you kind of you trust her." Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yep. Like, they trying to they trying to like, give it like give it a little, little side eye. Like, bro, come on, you. You know, you just, you know what I'm saying? She just walked in off the street. You're going to give her like, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, and, and, and all that. And then I'm like, bro, you're going to play Louis. And Louis always had your back. Louis Ben had your back and telling you, you know what I mean? Louis always had the spidey senses going off. Like, bro, she ain't cool. You ain't you that's, why you gotta, that's why you got to keep her close, bro. You got to keep her close because when she off in them streets and she doing her own thing, you can't keep no eye on her. You don't know what she doing. She could be plotting on replacing you. You know what I'm saying? That's, but when you got her next to you, when you, got her, when, you got her, when you got her next to you, you can see it. You can see what's going on. But that's the thing. Like, how but how would you want her next to you? Would you want her next to you mad? Like, 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 not like mad? Or do you want her with, like, hey, give me the bricks for nine. I know you, you give everybody else for 10. I need mine for nine. You know what, Louie? Here you go. You, no. you, here you go. You, you, you take them for nine. Hey, I'm gonna go to Reed. Hey, Reed, I need them bricks for nine because I'm. He keeping her dependent on him though. That's the thing. He keeping her dependent on him. You know what I mean? And that's the way he probably wanted because if she depended on, him, she always going to always come back to him. Because if you start getting what she want, then she gonna easily start creeping out. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna start stepping out, stepping out, stepping out. Then that thing you know. She gonna be like, I don't need you, bro. Like, I don't, what I need you for? You know what I'm saying? I got my own bricks and I got my own connect, I got my own plug. I don't need you no more, frankly. So that's yeah. why you gotta be trying to get her back in the fold. Like, come on back on home, come back home so we can have this thing and be a family. We can have this family thing. He's trying to use that, but at the same time, he making way more than they making. He put up a hundred mil, they only make they got only up 10 mil. But yeah, and, and, and I feel you on that. But it's like, bro, he could go out about it a whole different way. Like he's trying to play hard. And it's like, look, man, you know, he tried to, he did say, yeah, I gave you your, gave you, you know what I mean, time because you got shot and all that. But it's like, frankly, you ain't got to be tough with them. Like, he's like, I dropped, he's like, but he said, I dropped it because of her. I dropped the whole situation because of her. So I just let it, because I think he wanted to fight more for it, but because she got shot, he just kind of like, all right, I let it go. I let it be. Yeah, man. That's the thing. So let it be, man. Let it be. He got Scully, because look, Frankly, you didn't want to see Scully. Oh no, you, Scully. Even he was scared because he, he asked me, he's like, "Hey, how the situation was?" Scully? He's like, "It handled." You know what I'm saying? I even got a shot fired. He's like, oh, "Okay, I'm glad y'all handled it." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he was scared. Them boys went up in there. That thing looking like the Carter. That thing looking like the Carter. <laughs> he walked with with Louis and uh, and, and Jerome. Jerome walked up in yeah. there. You know what I mean? Looked like the car. Remember hey, the yeah. police wouldn't yeah. even go in there. <laughs> Hey, bro, when they walked in there, they had, they had, she was all squeamish, even Jerome looking like, hey, yeah. was crazy, man. Hey, Jerome, he was there with the sword, he was there with the sword in his head. And then she hit the ear, she, they were like, oh, they were like all squeamish and shit. Yeah, hey, Jerome, my, hey, Jerome, he was squeamish, but what he said, he looked at that man, he said, we got enough fire to burn this whole motherfucker <laughs> down. <laughs> no, and that was Jerome, they wouldn't be, but he was like, hey, he looked at that man, chest out, like, we got enough yeah. fire to burn this motherfucker down. 
<laughs> yeah, you got you got to play the role. You got to play yeah. the role. Knowing you don't have a muscle. Knowing you ain't got that. Like, hey, knowing that you ain't got the muscle. That man, hey, that man, Scully chopped that man. You, chop, ah, shut uh, up, nigga. Shut uh, up, nigga. Hey, nigga. <laughs> Hey, when hey, when they when they was at the, when they was at the club and he choked the old boy and snapped the neck, she was like, "Them two, get them back to the white room. <laughs> get them back to the white room. Oh, it's gonna go down at the way. go down at the white room, bro. Bro, I was like, straight ah, torture. It'll be straight torture. Straight torture. He was, straight torture. Man, you know they lost, cause shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and that was coming. He was like, shut up, hey. nigga. <laughs> Hey, I don't know why. How, when I be watching them, all I can see is that they, they roll from the wood, man. Stacy, I can see his Stacey, face. Stacy, that's all like, I can just see it, bro. I, yeah, see like, it. I, I swear, I be seeing you it. You gonna sit your ass in the back? <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you get up here. You get up here. Yeah, he's harder than you. He's harder than you. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. I'm sitting in the front. You gonna sit your ass in the your back? I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Look, the younger got more heart than you. Yep, yep. Hey, say, hey, he the same character, bro. Same yeah, character. Bro, like, same. Dude, it's the same one. Oh, I be seeing it, bro. When he be acting, I be like, and hey, that's Stacy, bro. Hey, stay, yeah. Hey, Scully. Hey, he had to, uh, man. Uh, he had to, but that's what I'm saying. They kept Stacy, but Stacy stand up, dude. Remember, because remember the last we was like, yo, who? When we talked uh, before about who they gonna take out. Remember that who they gonna take out? Scully or Man Boy? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, man, you know, Scully gonna play his part. He gonna stay. He ain't trying to be. But he you unpredictable, know what I mean? though, bro. He's so unpredictable, bro. He he unpredictable, but he predictable. Like you know, if you lie to him, he, he coming for it. He coming. He you know what I mean? If you don't, I mean, like if you if you don't stand on what you said. He, he coming for you. He get, he'll wild out on you. He'll wild out yeah, on you. He gonna sure. come on. He gonna come up there with the samurai swords and and with the with the cross. Yeah, 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 bro. He gonna take the. He gonna he gonna he gonna put the he gonna put the drops in the ear. ear. Oh man, he wild, bro. Put the drops in the ear, bro. He wild. It's on. It's on, it's bro. On. Yeah. yeah so. man, now I know, man. This season has been it's been so. I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying it so far, man. I think they're gonna. I like the. I like how they they got good storytelling on the show, man. It's not sometimes the episodes not shoot them up, bang bang, crazy exciting, but it's just like the plots and the stories and the backstories mm-hmm. and and where they've been leading. They do a really good, and the cinematography on the show is you know it's amazing. Can you kind of tell the difference between the season where John Singleton was involved versus the seasons now? Can you Definitely. tell the difference? Definitely. I mean, I don't know if they're doing that on purpose. But uh, it seemed like these this season, especially this season, this season seemed like it shot a lot cleaner. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like it just seemed like and maybe, and I'm thinking like maybe they did it because Franklin now he's he's living in high rises now. He ain't living mm-hmm. at his mama house, so I'm like maybe it's like that on purpose. You know what I mean? It's like he actually he, shot some of it. Uh, uh, Franklin, I forget his Idris, I forget his real name, Idris, not Idris, yeah. Uh, whatever, whatever. But yeah, he he said he directed some of the he directed some of the episodes. Mm-hmm. So you, okay. so you can kind of see that you can see that you can see the the difference in the, how they shoot and how they shooting versus when John singing because when John singing you kind of you know you can see that that baby boy type of you can see that it's kind of cold baby boy yeah you can get that baby boy feel and you know what I'm saying and boys yeah. in the hood like you got that feel from it but now like I said it's a little bit different because like, like I said everybody up with the money so it's nice everybody went the, the uh the, not the Louis Vuitton but the, the the silks and all that type of stuff now so you can kind of yeah. see the difference. It's a little different. It seemed like when, like the beginning, when Johnson was there, it was like it seemed like it was it was shot kind of gritty, like a little yeah, like, more little gritty, gritty, yeah, you know, like a little darker, a little darker. Mm-hmm. And even then, you know how they do the opening scene, and then they show the snowfall, right? Actually, mm-hmm. his name, and it always had like a different, yeah, like, different even the snowfall was intro. looking different, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now the snowfall is like mirror looking, like kind of clean yeah, and like yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So that's what I'm like. Yeah, yeah it's like, I don't know the imprint that he had on versus what it yeah. is now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's how, how you been? Different. How you been? How you really been into the the soundtrack like it was in the previous in previous seasons? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna. I right as of yet, the soundtrack ain't as dope as it was to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know the soundtrack I mean? used to be hidden in the previous season. Yeah, used to, the soundtrack used to be hidden. 
Yeah, you know, them sound trays used to be hidden in previous seasons. So, like little stuff like that, you can just see the the the, the touch that John Singleton had on it versus what it is now. Just those little subtle hints, like people probably not be paying attention to like the sound. I know it's it's like, it's important. You know what I mean? Like that type it's of important. stuff is important. It make the show that much more better because we 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 see with our eyes, but with our ears, we actually process things and we can like those sounds, different sounds that we the sound engineer. And we hear those different sounds and makes it yeah. relate even even relate more to, to the different stuff. time. So yeah, time, it's time. Yeah, it's just in the time. Doing, yeah, you know what I mean. And I don't know, like, like we all know John Singleton and what he did, and him being an LA native. You know what I mean. So you know, uh, growing up in those areas, so you know he he knew during those times what music was playing. You know what I mean. Yeah, it, could've, it, could've, yeah. it could be old school, but a certain certain, certain t- track, certain, certain, certain sound, certain, certain sound yeah, that was bro, playing. Yeah. In yep. LA at that sound. Not saying that I don't know if you got anybody on the is there anybody on the crew now, like the the, the film crew, director crew that definitely either saying because he's from Belgium or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he, he, he ain't gonna know. He probably the pond. Yeah, he don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 he ain't gonna know. So and I'm pretty sure uh, they got a team, but it's just like the, the song selection and soundtrack was just I felt like it was better on some of those previous season the ones yeah. that were John Singleton was involved in. So yeah, I, that's yeah. why I just want to kind of get your get your thought process on that too, because I thought I was the only one that was kind of like Really, kind of missing that soundtrack because I like it's I hear it's there, but it's not like like bam like when it was like certain scenes you get that right song and it just like like this is the perfect song for this scene you know what I'm saying perfect song and it like, always be perfect. like sometimes he would put it in like like when when the first season came on I mean the first episode of the new season came on and say like when they shot the project scene and you see you see Leon in there man it was like before to me it feels like before seasons that's when a nice song would be song, introducing yeah, like yeah, the project yeah. this is leon yeah, this is yeah. this is this is it's a whole different vibe yeah but it's like they didn't have it it wasn't there you know what i mean yeah. it was like ah you supposed to introduce leon yeah. back like with some with some p-funk or something like just, yeah. just, you know what i mean because yep. that's leon you know that's yep. leon he yep. you know and, and, but uh they didn't they, they, they didn't have it you yeah. know so yeah, maybe yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe pick up. hopefully we just we just yeah. there's, maybe there's just episode three. You know, maybe episode four. We'll kind of get some of that. Get some of that. Uh, the extra like so that P funk on some of that the soundtrack. I'm definitely gonna be listening for it to try to see if it's gonna they're gonna step their game up with the soundtrack. Cause like I said, I have I have been a little underwhelming compared to the previous season, and it's kind of hard, man, to keep be topping yourself each season. It's kind of that's hard, bro. Like keep yeah. you know, cause when you go off, you have a season. You got this season was here. Then next season you got to come back with something even better. Like that's hard. And you're in the fifth season, bro. Like now I feel like sometimes with some seasons, some um, shows, when you start stretching it, like sometimes you have to just go end it. Like if they yeah. were to get like this season and maybe one more, it might be time to just go ahead and like, all right, let's go ahead and end it. You know what I mean? Cause sometimes you can just yeah. overdo it. And then do we have a drastic product. change? You got yep. an iconic director pass away, RIP John Singleton. Yep. Iconic, yeah. and then it's like, that's a drastic change. You know exactly. what I mean? And it's like, exactly. like you said, it's already hard enough in itself yep. to keep that stuff. But then you have something like that happen, and it's yep. like, don't push it. Yeah. You know what don't I mean? Push like, yeah, you know like, you get your fifth, maybe one, because you already, with, with you two seasons after John now, you two seasons mm-hmm. without John, yeah. you make it get away with one more, depending on how this one go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, cause we you already got built in, you got a built in fan base. We're like, we're gonna watch it, but then we'll start be like, ah, it's starting to fall off. Like you you don't want to get to that point where you where you fall off. You want to end on a note where it's like it's high and people be like, Man, I want another season, and you yeah. kind of just like leave it like that, versus it kind of going too long, and you're like, Man, I don't really want to watch it no more because it ain't really that good. You know what I'm saying? Then it does then it might not it might not last it's just in the test time because I think that's how the wire did. It was so good that it just ended and you or you wanted more. And he's like, yeah. nah, that's it. They like, that's it. You don't get no more. That this is it. Whatever no you want, you don't, you know, you're not getting no more. And that's kind of that's how how I think that's how it's, it's been able to stand the test of time because it, it it ended on a good note. It didn't just like you know what I'm saying start on a on a downward side and then you try to end it up and then it don't end well and you just kind of like ah those last yeah. season. You, then, then you start breaking up like man the snowfall was good but the last season was like ah you know what I'm saying that's how you kind of do it. Yeah, you know, and it's like. Yeah, you don't want to do that, and and I, I feel like there's a lot to be said too with like the uh, the relationship that John Singleton had with a lot of people in that area. You know what I mean? Just about him being from LA, like they said mm-hmm. uh, when they when they hit up Dub C, rapper like 
authentic LA cats because he's yeah. from the neighborhood. He have yep. John Singleton from the neighborhood. Like he knows, like you know what I mean. So, like you said, it's like man, you don't want to little things, little things, little things start, that, that make yeah, it you so wanna, authentic. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you don't want to start. You don't want to start falling off and then trying to, you know what I'm saying? And we we gonna know. We gonna know if it start to fall off. So. Man, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and uh wrap this one up, man. I appreciate you, bro, for hopping on, yes, man, sir. talking yes, about this sir. snowfall. You for having we're gonna me, definitely man. we're gonna definitely come back in and, and tap back in again, man, and continue this conversation because the show gonna be, you know, it's it's gonna continue to elevate and it's gonna continue to get better. And I, I appreciate them for continuing the show because after John Singer to pass, they could have easily, you know, put it on the shelf and let it go, but they've been kind of like yeah. keeping it going. So I appreciate them, man. So man, put you know, plug your socials or anything you got going on before we jump out of here. <laughs> Man, just hit your boy William Walls, man, on Instagram right now, man. I'm still working on some couple of things that ain't done, ain't, ain't ready to be unveiled yet. You know what I mean? When it do, I'm going to let y'all boys know. I'm going to let y'all people know. Uh, You know what I mean? I'm still waiting for my boy Nitty to hit me with one of the posters he got on the back. And we're going to talk <laughs> about that another time. But uh, yeah, hit so your boy William Walls on the gram. Same on uh. On Twitter, man, hit me up. We can chop it up about anything, man. Any of these snowfall, man, we can chop it up. Uh, y'all boys holler that, um, holler that Franklin, man. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to mess up his real name. Holler that Franklin, holler at Leon. Tell them boys and my and my guy Jerome and Louis. Tell them boys to hop up on you so we can chop it up, man. Hey, that's what's <laughs> up, man. For sure, man. And before I get out here, man, I want to let y'all know y'all can y'all can find me on IG at Dovision SF, man. You can catch me on the Twitter, same thing, man. But most of all, I want you guys, if you definitely want to talk about this with us, or you want to be a part of this, man, jump on the Discord, man. You can find that link in my bio on Instagram or also inside inside the show notes of the, the podcast, man. Jump in there and talk to us about it. If you want to come do the podcast with us one of these times, we'll definitely take your questions you want to hop in here with us let us know man so with that man i want to wrap it up this your boy frank nitty from the sip until the next time i'm out Holla.